we're going to take a look at standardizing a random variable. So let's assume that we have our random variable here in a series of returns for uh, some stocks. So these are our returns. And so that return is our normal uh, random variable. Now if we want to standardize it, what we're trying to do is we're trying to convert it these numbers in a way that can be compared to, let's say, another set of data uh, or for another use to determine the probability uh, under a standard normal curve. Uh, we're trying to get a, a different value that's more easily comparable to something else. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the z-score. The z-score is based on the standard normal distribution. The standard normal distribution is a normal bell curve where the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. So it's going to take these numbers, which have obviously a different mean, which we'll calculate, and a different standard deviation, and it's going to basically kind of convert it into another normal distribution with a mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1, kind of like a transposing or translating uh, this number into a different one. And then if I can translate this one, I can translate another set of stocks from a different trader, and then I'm able to compare the two if I wanted to, or use this z-score for another comparison, which we'll see in a later video. So to calculate the z-score, we have the formula up here. It's z is equal to the x value minus mu, which is the mean, divided by the standard deviation. So it's pretty straightforward. It's a fairly easy calculation. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at these values. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate the mean, which we know how to do with the average. We take the average of that column and we end up with 0 0.00898. We're going to take the standard deviation using the standard deviation function, again from the same range. We get 0 0.00278. So now what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the z-score. In order to calculate the z-score, we're basically going to take the x value, which is b6, subtract our mean, and divide by the standard deviation. So there you see the formula up here. Dollar sign b23 is our mean, divided by dollar sign b24 here is the standard deviation. So we subtract the difference between b6 and b23, divided by the standard deviation, and we get a z-score. This z-score of 1.2146 basically means that the return, 0 0.005, is 1.21 standard deviations below the mean. We know that it's below because it's negative. If it was a positive, it would be above the mean. Again, recall that the standard deviation, the standard normal distri distribution has the mean of zero. So things that are to the left would be negative, things that were to the right would be positive. So that's how we can tell whether it's below the mean or above the mean. So now what we'll do is we'll copy that formula down and we will end up with a series of z-scores for our data. And so now we can tell that this one is obviously below the mean by 1.21 standard deviations. This number is 0.61 standard deviations above the mean. This one is very close to the mean, which would be close to 0 0.04. This one is below the mean by 0.92. So now what we're going to do is we're basically going to uh, use the Excel function called standardize to do the same thing. And you can see here that we have B6, B23, and B24 as the three parameters for standardized. We're anchoring B23 and B24 uh, because that's where our mean and standard deviation is, and we don't want that to move. When we copy that down, you'll see that we basically get the same numbers, exactly the same numbers, for each one of the stocks. So the z-score can be calculated either uh, manually, if you like, using the equation, or you can use the standardized function in Excel.